Anika, have you been to the dentist before? Visiting the dentist can be an experience many of us wish to avoid. And for a child, the thought alone of sitting in a dentist chair can be outright scary. Seven-year-old Anika Watson, a second grader at McBride Elementary School in East Ridge, had her reservations at first. Anika's first thought was she was afraid of getting shots and needles, and <laughs> she thought that it would be most painful. But the pain of cavities and tooth decay is far much worse. That's why the Ronald McDonald Caremobile visits local schools each year, providing full-service dental care to children right on site. We have children sometimes who are in pain. They may have a toothache. And, you know, for a child that's in pain, they can't focus on their learning. Educators say the mobile dental unit has been doing a good job so far, meeting some of the basic needs of students so they can focus on learning in a healthy way. We are a Title I school, and that simply means that we, uh, some of our children are on free and reduced lunch, which means that they can't always, they come to school with a lot of needs. And in, in knowing some of those needs, the families can always, parents can always provide those needs for them. The Ronald McDonald Caremobile comes staffed with a pediatric dentist, dental assistant, and a driver. The team spends an average of two weeks at each site, treating hundreds of children who have little or no other option for professional dental care. Every parent wants the best for their child. No parent wants to send their child to school knowing that they have a cavity. My concerns were plaque and, and losing her teeth at an early age, but now that we've gone to the care mobile, um, she is on point. She brushes her teeth three times a day, and it's just been great for me. Annika's mom, Kathy, says visiting the care mobile has been a very positive experience for her daughter and has possibly saved her hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars in dental expenses. They've made my daughter smile uh, brighter, and um, her confidence level is greater, and she's more aware of tooth decay and plaque. If you forget about your teeth, you end yeah. up with no teeth. Meet Jason and Mike, a dentist and his patient, life-size puppets who hold their message about the importance of good oral hygiene, gets through to kids, and prepares them for that very first dental visit aboard the care mobile. The valuable part of that is not only the puppet performance, but then the children actually get to ask questions. How do you brush your teeth? What's it like to have a cavity? Is it fun? Is it scary? So they ask all of these questions actually of the puppet and we're able to answer those questions for them. Kids on a Block's Executive Director Kelly Williams says their dental education program in partnership with the Ronald McDonald Care Mobile has received great reviews from educators and parents. The program launches at 10 schools this year. Kids on a Block hopes to use these larger than life puppets to ease the minds of thousands of children who may have reservations about their first time in a dentist chair. One teacher actually said cavity, we made cavities fun. And no cavity is fun, but what we tried to do was help a child understand that it's not scary, that it is important, it's something that we need to do, so that maybe when they get to the care mobile or the dentist visit, then they're not so afraid and it's not so hard for them to get up in that chair and open their mouth wide and then let the dentist look in their mouth. Ronald McDonald Care Mobile's efforts to promote healthy teeth has not only caught on at McBrien, but it's also sparked a spirit of giving back. Last spring, the school kicked off a fundraising effort for the care mobile called Common Sense as a way to say thanks. They set a goal to raise $1,000 in one week by collecting spare change, and they did. Our teachers and our school, we just kind of embraced this, uh, this program, and we, we have talked about through our character education program how important it is to give uh, toward, uh, toward services and toward programs that will help children. Helping children was the goal. And meeting that goal meant a whole week of keeping an eye on which classroom collected the most change. When it was announced over the, the uh, loudspeaker, we, we went down there and oh, there were just screams from the classroom. Elementary school just 
really do get so excited about that kind of thing. And the winning classroom of second graders were rewarded with school supplies and Happy Meals from McDonald's. Very good. Students are also getting a healthy start with exercise thanks to a grant by the Junior League of Chattanooga. Keep one foot on the ground. These kindergartners are getting a workout and having fun. It's all part of a new exercise routine called Smart Moves. McBrien Elementary School is one of several local schools using Smart Moves as part of their physical education program to help kids get fit in a fun way. I know you can do it. Smart Moves is taught by a trained volunteer who leads children in various movements from warm up to cool down. The low impact exercise lasts just 30 minutes. Very good. Ashley Davis is a junior league volunteer who signed on to teach smart moves at McBrien. Each school works with the program coordinator to customize a fitness routine that works for them. These programs and services allow the children to have their basic needs met so that they can come to school and learn in a healthy way. Keeping children healthy is the ultimate goal of programs such as the Ronald McDonald Care Mobile and Smart Moves. And that's certainly something to smile about.